How's it going guys, uh, ABC here, and today we're actually doing the Hidden Relic quest for APT. Uh, this is just a short little intro with a couple of information for you guys. Uh, first things first, this is a very, very hard relic to do in APT, and it is a secret one that they haven't really given any information about. So please, I'm just going to ask you guys, if you are going to do this relic, please don't assault the dev team or be rude to them in any kind of form or way, because uh, this is kind of made to, to be hard. It's not made for every single person to get it. So uh, just remember when you're doing all the steps and doing all this that uh, kind of just say thanks to the devs and just be appreciative that they did put so much effort into something so cool and uh, nice because they didn't need to do it and they did. So just uh, I'm saying a couple steps you guys will kind of be like, oh, why would the devs do this? Like, why would they make it this hard? Just remember that they did it so that it would be a challenge so that not everybody would get it. So once again, guys, just go ahead and say thanks to the devs if you ever encounter them instead of being salty. I would really appreciate that. But yeah, let's get straight to the actual tutorial. Okay guys, so we are at the first step of this entire quest. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to go into this game. It's called Monmusu Park. I'm going to pull it up for you guys. It's this game right here. Uh, you can see the ID here so you can kind of find it. But uh, you, could, you should really do this quest and get the badge first because if you don't, uh, when you're like halfway through the Matthew quest to get the new relic, you're going to end up uh, having to go to this game anyways. So you might as well just do this first just to get it out of the way and get the badge. Uh, basically, we're just spawned in here and there's kind of like two ways to get in. Uh, but we're going to go the easier way. I kind of tried that way. It didn't really work. So we're just going to keep going forward here and we're going to cross this bridge and in the water. Well, we don't really have to cross the bridge. We could kind of just jump in the water right here. And there's a kind of little entrance in the water. Uh, you're going to see it here in about five seconds. Let's just find it. It's kind of hard to find. Uh, it's really like tricky. All right. So we found it. Now, once you get to this part, the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to jump out kind of like that. You don't want to go all the way down. If you go down that hole, you're going to end up in a cave, kind of like at the start of the video, and that is not what you want to go to. That's no, not anywhere where you want to go to. So we're going to, if you kind of see in the water here, you can kind of see it. We're going to go into this cave here. Uh, the main thing you cannot see when you're doing this, so what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to follow these little uh, snowflake things you guys can see. Uh, this is definitely very hard to do. Uh, especially since you have to follow them but I mean like I've said in the intro this quest was designed to be hard so that only a couple people would end up actually doing it but hopefully you guys can follow these snowflakes it's kind of once you get the trick to it it shouldn't be too difficult for you but uh, it did take me a while to actually do this just because uh, it's, it's kind of confusing especially when you're like following the snowflakes and there's like other exits and stuff that kind of confuse you but yeah, uh, I don't think we need to go to this guy. Yeah, this is kind of the wrong way. There's actually a different way you go to. Um, I guess we could kind of try and go back. I don't think we really can now since I just went that way. But yeah, you guys are going to want to kind of explore this cave. I can't really explain to you or show you really the correct uh, way to find the badge. But uh, eventually you're going to find a little hole opening, I guess, where you could jump into and you will kind of find a moon thing. I'm going to kind of chop it up so you guys know where it is. Since I can't really show you, this will be difficult to do, but all the good things in life have to be um, somewhat hard to accomplish. So yeah, I'm just going to chop it up and you guys will see when I actually find the entrance. Okay guys, so we're back. Uh, after you follow all those like snowflakes, you're going to end up finding this place. It's very hard to find. Uh, it will take you some effort. It will take you some time. Just kind of walk into the moon badge. And just like that, you're going to get the uh, badge for this quest. Or not quest. It kind of is for the relic because you are going to need this for the relic. And you can go ahead and go back to APT. Alright guys, so we just finished getting the uh, badge on that one game and now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to join APT and then you're going to want to come over to, uh, what's it called again, uh, Outset Haven I think, and then you will actually find Matthew right here, this guy's the start of the quest, if you kind of look over on this side there's a big bridge right here, and then there's like two uh, smallish rocks that, uh, in between there is actually a cave where you will find Matthew. And you just need to talk to Matthew simply like that and he will kind of bring up some dialogue saying that his name is Matthew. And basically guys what he's going to want you to do is he's going to want uh, basically a map from you. 
And I actually will show you guys where the map is. I just want to finish a dialogue with this guy. So just do all the dialogue with him. He'll just explain that he wants the map, all that. And then you're going to finish talking to him. And then you might as well just jump back on your ship here. I'm going to do that as well. If I could just get onto it. These things are very difficult to get onto, especially since they're like hoverboards. It's like it's very difficult. Alright, there we go. So now we're just gonna probably, I guess we could go through here, I think. But you're just gonna want to kind of, if you look where my cursor is here, kind of got to turn a little bit, kind of went the wrong way. Uh, you're going to want to go kind of right here, exactly where my cursor is. I'll stop and show you guys once I get over there. But you're just gonna want to come straight here and then stop kind of about right around a little bit farther kind of right here so if you kind of look on the map I'm like around here uh, you should bring your diving helmet because you are going to need to swim and then basically you're just gonna want to keep swimming in this direction or like it's somewhere around here there's a little rock on the bottom of the ocean and basically that is going to be holding the map location for you so you just gotta like interact with the map and then grab the map and then once you grab the map all you have to do is simply go back and talk to Matthew and then you should be good I think we just turned a little wrong way here let's kind of turn around here it's kind of like around this ish area it will be a little hard to find for you guys just because it is pretty small and it does require a lot of swimming to actually find it alright we found it so we're just gonna go and swim up to it and then press E uh, this is an item guys so make sure you press take the map like this and you get the found item mysterious map make sure you get that just so that you don't like um, go get the map and then realize you didn't actually pick it up alright so we're just gonna go back onto our uh, hoverboard ish thing type right here jump on here and then we just go straight back to Matthew guys uh, just he's basically at the same exact spot he doesn't move around so we're just gonna go right back to him and talk to him and then after you talk to Matthew basically he's going to say to you that uh, basically you have the wrong map and that he wants you to find another map using the map that you get and I'll kinda show you guys that once I manage to get back to Matthew here I think it's just right along this area alright so I think we're going the right way now I think there's a little cutout we could kind of go through. Uh, are my rights? I think so. If not, I'm gonna have to go all the way around. All right, there we go. I think it's just right here. So we have the map now, guys. And the first thing you're gonna want to do with the map is just go straight back to Matthew. And basically, you're gonna hand him the map, and he's just gonna say, "This is not the map we're looking for." I'm just gonna go ahead and continue talking to him. Just get the dialogue through. Just gonna keep talking to him. This will lead you to a secret place, one that will be useful in our quest. Use it to find the next piece. So now that you've talked to Matthew, uh, basically you need to go over to Familiar. If you look on the map here, I can't really show you guys it since it's so damn dark. Uh, it's basically a map that just brings you to Familiar. Uh, basically Familiar is right here on the map. It's kind of on the top uh, middle-ish area, but I'm just gonna cut it to when we are actually at the correct spot. Okay, so we just managed to get to Familiar, and if you look on the map, there's kind of like this little, like the map, if you press I and equip it, I just forgot to do that, there we go. If you look on it, uh, there's this little portrait thing, it's kind of hard to see, but it actually matches up to this right here. And what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to, the kind of best way to get up, honestly, is just to come over here onto this mountain right here. And then kind of climb up. It might take a couple tries since it's a little difficult. Kind of a little bit of parkour. But you're just going to want to climb up here. And then you're going to jump onto this house right here. And if you actually look on the map, guys, that you get, there's a little symbol. Kind of like a spider symbol on the bottom right. And it's on the same thing as this house as well. So the way that this works, guys, is this only opens at night time. And it only opens at a certain time at night time. Like, it takes about two or three minutes after it turned night time to actually open. So, make sure that when you guys come here and if it automatically doesn't turn night time, don't get mad. Or if it doesn't open right as it turns night time, don't get mad because you just need to wait a minute or two. And basically, it's just gonna open by itself a little like passageway. You don't need to do anything and then you just uh, go down it and then you will find the next map. Uh, I'll kind of show you guys. I'll cut to it when the thing actually opens. Alright guys, so we're back. Uh, I kind of just had to sit here and wait for about half an hour for it to turn night time. So, uh, in about a minute or so when the moon gets to the fullest it can go pretty much, you're, the opening will come up. Like I said earlier, uh, it doesn't open right at nighttime, so don't expect it to open as soon as it turns nighttime. It's going to take a minute or so. 
So we're just going to sit here and wait. It shouldn't be too much longer since it's kind of like halfway up. But yeah, guys, uh, it's just going to open automatically. You don't need to click it. You don't need to have any other thing other than the map and the pretty much the place. Another way to get up as well is if you're just down here, you could kind of come to the side. And there's kind of like a little ladder-ish type thing right there where you could just kind of climb up. But yeah, it uh, just needs to go a little bit higher. And then after that opens, it's kind of like a little passageway. And then you're going to find like a chart in there. And basically, you're going to use the chart. And basically, it's kind of like a second map, I guess. Once you pick that up, you could go ahead and move back to Matthew. And Matthew will basically just say, thank you, my memory has came back to me. And then basically, you're going to have to go and find a seeker. I'm not going to go too much farther than that since we kind of have to do this part first. I'm kind of just explaining to you guys like what you have to do. Alright, so just make sure that you're at this house. Uh, if you look on the map here, it's the same exact kind of... Uh, logo as on the bottom of or no not the bottom uh, the top of this roof so there should be an opening that comes up any second now since the root uh, moon is basically almost at the fullest uh, make sure once it opens you guys do go into it because if you wait too long it will close and then you will have to uh, wait another like 40 minutes for it to become nighttime again and then end up opening so yeah hopefully it just opens up pretty soon here not, it kind of, like I said, it does take a couple minutes. It's not instantly. All right, there we go. So it kind of opened right where that logo was, and you're just gonna kind of drop down here and find this area. All you need to do down here is kind of walk over to this organization chart, kind of like E to interact to it, uh, get the little dialogue. I'm just gonna do it twice just in case. So now you have that, and now all you need to do is head over back to Outset Haven and talk to Matthew. Okay guys, so now we have the organization chart. The next thing we're going to have to do is just talk to Matthew, uh, tell him that you found the map and he's kind of going to be like, oh, our memories are starting to come back to us. And he's kind of just going to say to you, like, you need to find the seekers so that they can, like, show you the true map or something. So you just ask, how will I know where they are? They will hide in plain sight. They will await your return. So now that we finished talking to Matthew after we did the organization charts, we just need to head over to Cave Pirates and there will be a tailor there named Emerson something. Uh, I'm going to cut to it so you guys will see it, but pretty much you just talk to him and then he pretty much gives you a note for the next part of the quest. Okay guys, so now we are just at Cave Pirates, kind of here on the map. Uh, all you're going to need to do is talk to Emerson Barclay or whatever his name is. And basically, you're just going to click the what do you know about this symbol. And it's just going to basically tell you like, uh, I'm a seeker or whatever. Give you a note and then say, let the moon light your path. So now you have the note, just make sure you have it. And then basically the next step I believe is what you need to do is you need to go on to the game to get that badge. You should have already done that by now if you followed my step. But I'm just going to explain to you guys really quickly how you're supposed to find that out. Because I know some people will be like, oh, how am I supposed to know it's on a completely different game? So kind of right here, there's a mysterious shipwreck where my cursor is between Ashlands and uh, Frostlands, I think. And then uh, you're going to find a dead body on kind of but like a crate. And under it, there's like a moon symbol with like an arrow pointing down. You just basically go down and you're going to find inside of one of the m big shipwrecks, there's going to be an ID or like a bunch of letters, which basically, or numbers, which basically just brings you to that one game that I shown at the beginning. So if you guys didn't really know how you're supposed to find that, that's how. Uh, you don't need to go back there. I'm just simply saying that so that people hopefully don't like start screaming around like, oh, that's impossible. There's no way I could find that, which I do understand. I mean, it was hard for me to find it. I didn't even find it. But I mean, yeah, guys, so that's just basically like how you uh, find it. So yeah, so after we get that, I believe the next step is we talk to Jim Bob. That might be completely wrong. Uh, I'm just going to chop it together so that you guys will know when I get to the next step. Okay guys, so now we are done with the Taylor at Cave Pirates. Now what you're going to want to do is reset or go on to uh, Port Pirates. And then you're just going to find a good old Jim Bob sleeping. You just want to talk to him and show him the moon gem. Simply like that. And you're going to wake him up. Uh, you're going to wake him up actually, which is actually kind of cool. Because he's been sleeping for a really long time. So he's going to be like, what? How do you know that phrase? I've traveled very far to find it. I see. The others are waiting for you. Have a safe journey. And ABC Pwn, don't trust anyone. So he kind of leaves you out there with a warning not to trust people. But yeah, guys, so now we've talked to Jim Bob. And I'm not too sure what the next part of the quest is. So as usual, I'm going to chop it up to where we get to the next part. 
Okay, so we just came from Jim Bob. Now I am actually on a different account, by the way, if you can't tell, just because I'm re-recording this. Uh, now we need to come over to Crossroads. Uh, I'm kind of right here if you look on the map uh, in this location. If you come in here, you kind of see there's like a B. It doesn't really mean anything, but what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to like come over here into this castle. And then once we come into the castle, there's going to be a door, guys, and this door works exactly like the other door, where pretty much it opens at night time at pretty much the same time, so you're just going to have to, like, kind of wait, and then eventually, it's this one right here, by the way, it's not one of those, but we have to wait till night time, and then once it's night time, I'll go in and show you guys. Okay, so now we're at this little castle-like area. If you look on the map, it's kind of right here. Uh, this is kind of like the last quest where you're going to have to like wait until uh, it comes to be a specific part of night, and then eventually it's going to open up the door once it's uh, been night long enough, I guess. I'm not too sure. It's going to take a while. Uh, it's this house in particular. It's not this one or not that one. It is. It has to be this one. But yeah, we're just going to wait a minute here and hopefully it'll open up. Uh, I'm pretty sure I didn't me forget any steps. And if I did, then repping pepperoni, I'm going to have to go back a step and redo it. But hopefully not. Hopefully the door will just crank wide open as soon as the moon gets to the very height of its uh, height or whatever. That's what I kind of notice. It kind of like opens right as it hits like the moon stops going up, I think. I'm not too sure though. Like, it looks like it's uh, gonna open though. I'm sure it will. I mean, I don't think I miss I forgot any steps, so we should be completely fine. Just gonna have to wait just a little longer though, so... Hopefully it actually opens though, like I said. I'm pretty sure it will open. I don't think I forgot anything. I'm pretty sure we have everything in the video. If not, I will just simply go back and probably re-record this part because... Uh, I can't really keep it up. Oh, okay, I guess it did open. So, it opens now, just like I said. And now what you guys are going to have to do is you're going to want to... You don't need to talk to either of those two guys. You're going to want to talk to this uh, Georgia right here. And it'll be like, hello, Lahid, when I've been waiting for you, you're just going to want to talk to this lady here. And basically, she's going to tell you guys that you uh, have to go find this like creature-type person. And the creature, I'm going to show you guys where he's at after we finish talking to this woman. Alright, what if I told you someone somehow made it past the monsters and left way back in the day? I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. His name was Matthew Arthorius. Matthew died nearly 200 years ago after the Great Departure. His journal was found on some random island. The journal detailed his voyage up until his death. He wrote about finding some sort of interdimensional gates. What's the deal with the gates? It's just more dialogue, guys. He said it held back to a creature far more ter ter uh, terrifying than anything we had ever seen before. One that was intelligent, that could speak one, uh, one with immense power. Matthew sealed back the gates, trapping the monster inside. Lahid One, I don't think you've been talking to Matthew. I think you've been talking to the creature. That's kind of interesting, guys. That entire time, it wasn't even Matthew. It was the creature. It's just uh, kind of a little bit freaky. Then its abilities may be far worse than we can imagine. You've gained quite a reputation. They say you hold many relics. Uh, by the way, you don't need relics for this. Uh, she just says that just because she assumes that you have it. But yeah, you're going to get the gate map, guys. Uh, you could go ahead and equip it, I think, because it is an item, I believe. Uh, let me go and pull it up here. Gate map. If you kind of look on the gate map, it kind of shows you where you need to be. Uh, we don't really need this, although this is actually quite easy if you guys really think about it. But this, I'm going to tell you guys right now, the location of this, this is not going to make a lot of you happy because of what you're going to have to do next. But this is actually at the very end of the Precursor uh, Relic Quest. So that means we are going to have to go over to Shipwreck Cove. Alright, so we are back at Shipwreck Cove now, and you guys basically just have to redo the entire Precursor quest. Uh, I'm not sure if you actually have to redo it if you already have it unlocked. The door might be already open, but I'm just going to simply redo it. You can go check if the door is open or not if you've already done the Precursor uh, quest, but I simply am going to do it. But yeah, guys, uh, if you need the video tutorial on how to do the Precursor Relic, there is one on my channel, so if you need like the key locations or all the other stuff, I'm not going to put it in this one because this video has already been very long. Uh, go ahead and head over to my channel and you can easily find the YouTube video explaining how to do the Precursor Shield quest. But yeah guys, I'm going to come back to you right when we get to the very end of the Precursor uh, area thingy jigger. 
Okay guys, so I just got to the end of the precursor one. Uh, normally if you guys would like go into here, you would like go up the elevator and then get the shield. But because we're not doing that, all we need, really need to do is turn right here and then you should be able to see a doorway. I believe it should be around here. I can't really see too well since it's so damn dark right now. Uh, I might have, it might be the one under us. Uh, I don't think so. No, it should be this one right here. It's just really hard to see for some reason because it's so dark. I don't know why it's this dark. Normally it isn't this dark. But yeah, uh, you're going to go to one of these doors. I think it's on the other side here. I just, I'm just i being careful because I don't I don't really want to die in case like I mess up or something. But you're going to go through that door and just like that you're going to fall down here. You're just going to follow this little pathway. It's not too difficult. Make sure you uh, be careful though. Okay, and now you're going to want to jump down here, land on here, just like that, guys. Alright, now you're going to want to go on this chain. Be careful, make sure you actually go on the chain and don't fall off. Just uh, interact with this book here. He's going to tell you that the chains are broken or whatever, and then you just break the seal, just like that, guys. Uh, pretty simple. Then you're going to break the seal, and then that uh, will expose the chains, and then you just go over here. Go through the little wall or gates here and then you talk to the create or creature and he'll be like we thank you for breaking the last two chains Lahid. we are now free just cancel out of that and then simply click on this guys and just like that you get the seeker of the gate title and you get the hidden grapple hook utility uh relic uh what do you call it relic legend i guess you could say i don't know but yeah guys uh i was the first person to find the map in total I think I spent like 25 hours on this guys just for you I only did it I only went through all the hard work just so I can help most of you guys out because this is definitely the hardest quest in the game absolutely by far I, I believe I was the first person in the entire game to find the map and I was the second person in the entire game to complete the entire relic but yeah guys uh, that's pretty much it uh, I a couple of shout outs I guess I can give um, let me shout out Maddie and Kibo for giving me all the fake information and for in the Discord for faking all of their, uh, what do you call them, all of their dialogues making me waste probably about five hours of my time trying to follow them. So yeah, uh, thanks to you guys for that. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, hopefully they add some more cool quests like this in the future, and I can definitely make videos on them as well and help you guys. But until then, I'm ABC, and I will see you guys at the next video.